Hi, my name is Brian Hughes, PJ Master Professional and Program Director here at Kaiser University's College of Golf. Uh, this is the uh, next installment in our series on the rules of golf, some misunderstood situations in a lot of cases, and some changes within the rules for 2019. So we're going to talk about today um, some changes within the bunker area of the golf course. Um, used to be, and still is to a degree, a very protected area of the course. There's a lot of things you can and can't do in the bunker. And with some of the new relaxed rules this year, uh, some things we can move and some things we can't and we need to be careful in other instances. So the question is, are all objects in a bunker created equal? What we have here, a series of things you might find in a bunker. A rake, ball up against a rake, some pine cones, a limb off of a tree. So before you go into a bunker, do we just start moving everything we want? Well, yes and no. Anything is movable this year. In the past, natural objects or loose impediments such as pine cones and the tree branch, those had to remain in place. You couldn't touch them. Artificial objects like the rake, we've always been able to move those. Here's the catch though. So while the new rules say I can move all of these things, I have to be very careful of the natural objects because if that object was right there behind the ball and I moved it and the ball moved, that's a penalty. And the artificial objects, such as a rake, if I move the rake and the ball would move, it's not a penalty, but just like in the loose impediment, if the ball moves, I would place it back where it was. So a lot of changes, some similarities. Just before you go in there and start moving things, understand what might be a penalty and what might not be should you cause the ball to move.